Hi everyone, I'm Mary with Mary Greeley News. Thank you for joining me. I want to cover today the earthquakes that have been happening there in Nevada. This is in the area that they call the central zone, the central part of the Walker Lane Fault and also close to Long Valley Caldera, that super volcano. Here are some of the more significant earthquakes and ones that I posted today that were close to um, Mono Inno craters. And then down here we got um, the Long Valley Caldera. Interesting information that I found. Evidently, the Walker Lane Fault Zone extends all the way up and joins up with the Mendocino Triple Junction with the Juan de Fuca Fault Line. Down south, it originates all the way down here, yeah, past the ridge crest. Yeah, it goes through the ridge crest area and down here to the Gulf of California. This is a new rift system. It hasn't completely formed yet. It's still developing. So far, just today, there's been 271 earthquakes in this location. Uh, there's Mono Lake, and this is the location of all the earthquakes. Up here is Hawthorne, Nevada. And uh, a lot of them, you can see, was Mina, Nevada, what they're listing them as today. Earlier today, um, they said there was like over 2,000 earthquakes. Well, now it's down to 1,995 earthquakes in the last week alone. A research paper that I found talking about the birth of this Walker Lane Belt and the Cascadia Arch. Here it says the Walker Lane Transitional Rift has been unzipping northward along the axis of the Cascadia Arch following the Mendocino Triple Junction. It talks about the Walker Lane transition is marked by a large arch volcanic centers. But then it goes down into the Little Walker Volcanic Center. North of that, um, Ebert's Pass Volcanic Center. You know where that's at? Just a little bit east of Sonora Pass. Here we have another uh, document that shows this area. Another document showing Ebert's Pass. It says here, Tectonic and Volcanic Settings of the Sonora Pass, which is down here. And this is the other volcanic area. To the Carson Pass uh, region. So I pulled it down a little bit. Here we got Carson Pass. We got Ebert's Pass. Uh, little Walker Caldera. Um, also, we got up over here, the Little Walker Volcanic Center. So using Google Earth, here we got Sonora Pass. We got um, Ebert's Pass. I'm sorry for pronouncing it wrong. Up over here. Um, down over here, we got uh, Mono Lakes. Uh, this was the last eruption, which was about 600 years ago. And Mammoth Lakes. And I, I've talked about the different eruptions, how these different volcanic um, eruptions occurred within a short period of time. I got them numbered. One, two, three, four. And then the last one. Um, it would have been up over here at number five, which formed the island. Over here is where we got all the earthquakes occurring, which is in the central area of Walker Lane. And like I said, it goes all the way up this fault line that's developing. It's still developing to the Mendocino cr Triple Junction which is also runs in, then runs into the Juan de Fuca fault line. This area of the Walker Lane um, central, it's the central part of the fault zone, is doing a clockwise, an actual clockwise motion of the plate there. Now they're saying that since the magnitude 6.5, which they're calling the Monte Cristo earthquake on May 15th, um, over 6,000 earthquakes since that date. Seismic instruments indicate the earthquake originated 1.7 miles below the surface in a shallow crust of the North American plate. We know that the North American plate is moving southwest. 
The 6.5 was the largest earthquake they've had in 65 years. The last one um, referring to was in 1954. Um, and this earthquake occurred within the central area of the Walker Lane. Permanent ground movement from the 6.5 earthquake occurred over an area of 120 miles from its center. As of about two days ago, the Nevada Seismological Lab had tracked a phenomenon of 6,500 aftershocks for a magnitude 5.0 and greater from the earthquake sequence. They're thinking that uh, these aftershocks may last um, a decade or maybe even longer. In 1932, there was a 7.2 earthquake in the Gabs area throughout Nevada and beyond of an area of over 500,000 square miles. This earthquake involved several faults failing in sequence. Okay, four earthquakes occurred in 1954 that caused damage to buildings in Fallon and ruptured the ground in a spectacular fashion in Dixie Valley near Fairview Peak, 30 to 35 miles east of Fallon. The July and August 1954 earthquake occurred along the same fault along at, at Rainbow Mountain, excuse me, east of Fallon, and had magnitude 6.6 .6 and 7.0. On December 16th, 1954, two large earthquakes of magnitude uh, 7.2 and 6.8 occurred only four minutes apart at Fairview Peak and Dixie Valley. So where is Dixie Valley? Yeah, not far from where all these earthquakes are occurring. Right there. Let me bring this back out. It's a little bit north of where these earthquakes are occurring. There's Fairview Peak right there. And this is the area, um, yeah, of all these earthquakes. There was um, a 7.3 here. I don't know. Let's see, that was in 1915. We got Lovelock, Nevada. We got Pyramid Lake. This whole area of Walker Lane is spreading. It's a rift um, spreading. And what do you have when you have spreading? Yeah, you have magma that follows up along um, those rift zones. Largest fault scarp they had uplift was about 23 feet high near Fairview Peak. One road dropped about 3 feet for a distance of 1,000 feet and lurched about three feet horizontally toward a canal. In the Lone Tree tree and Stillwater areas, canal banks, banks settled as much as three feet, and bottoms of canals were raised as much as two feet. The quake was felt in California, Idaho, Oregon, and Utah. That one paper was the first paper that I found that this fault zone, that, like I said, is still being developed, extends up and it makes a turn going into the Mendocino Triple Junction and um, the Juan de Fuca fault line, which is something to watch for. So there's all the earthquakes, 1,991 earthquakes in the last week. This fault zone extends up to Lake Chaho. And we're going to come over here and where the Mendocino Triple Junction is at. Bring it out. There we go. And we got one earthquake so far today, which is a, a 2.4. Actually, that was yesterday. And on the Juan de Fuca fault line, a 2.3. Now, the Juan de Fuca fault line, um, they feel it is healed and has stored up a lot of energy, which could trigger um, an earthquake, a magnitude 9 or greater for uh, the Cascadia Fault Zone. Anyways, yeah, I thought that was a bit concerning. Plus, we got um, the Long Valley Caldera over here. Um, yeah, just off of uh, yeah the Walker Lane Fault Zone, which this is extending into. These are the earthquakes here um, that occurred, the smaller ones, closer to uh, Mono Lake. This same fault zone extends all the way down to the Salton Sea, which of course also joins up with the St. Andreas Fault Zone. 
Yeah, a lot of earth changes going on, especially um, this year, 2020. We've seen a lot of events happening. So any thoughts or comments or questions, please put it down below. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for watching. Please stay safe, and I will talk to you later. God bless you all. Bye.